All right, first things first, congratulations. Uh, win of the regular season in the Conference Carolina, second year in a row. Um, big win for you guys, and a kind of a statement went over Belmont Abbey here today with a 30-plus point victory. Uh, talk about the performance as a whole and, and what this meant to the team. I mean, I thought, um, you know, it was a really tough game at Emanuel on Saturday, and, you know, we had some soul-searching we had to do in order to accomplish the things we want to accomplish. And uh, I thought we obviously took heed to that. And I thought we came out, and I th I thought we started the game like we wanted to, and then I think the biggest thing was the second half, the first four minutes we talked about, because, you know, Belmont Abbey is a really good team. They've been down like that before. They've come back and won those games. So we wanted to make sure that first four minutes that we tried to put kind of our, our foot on the gas pedal, and, and, and the guys did it. So props to these guys. I mean, you know, Quan coming out at senior night, KJ coming out at senior night, both contributed early, and uh, they're a big reason why we got off to the start we did. Yeah, and then defensively shutting down their top scorers for the most part, a pretty, pretty solid performance defensively. And then from the assist standpoint, um, a lot of really good passing to set up set up those points. I think finished with uh, 12 or 13 assists as a team. So um, what did that do on route, on route to the victory today? I mean, we ended up with 18 assists, which is really with, which is really good ratio is what we're trying to look for. But, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of unselfishness. I thought defensively, I thought we had our, one of our worst games of the year this past Saturday. So the response there defensively was – because, I mean, Belmont Abbey is one of the best offensive teams in the league. Um, so our response to be able to sit down and guard and really take personal ownership of defending the ball one-on-one -on -one and then relying on help side and understanding our teammates are there and the confidence and having that. So I thought there, I thought we, we took back to what we were. I would say, you know, we didn't, I'd say we take big strides, but we kind of got back to what we were doing before. But I thought, I thought our intensity on the defensive end was night and day compared to where it was this past weekend. Uh, moving on to Quan and KJ, senior night for you two, newcomers to the program. What has this journey been like for you over the course of the regular season? Um, it's been a good journey. Um, we started early, running a lot, running miles, running 33s, defensive workouts. Um, all the work is, you know, paying off. Um, it was a great ride. Uh, made some. Made, uh, made some good relationships, you know, the guys in the locker room, they're my brothers, so it was a great ride and good to cut the net down. For sure. I second that, everything you said. <laughs> there you go. Uh, man of many words, Juan Murphy. Uh, moving on to, to Brad, how does this compare to, to last year's conference title? Uh, it's just as special, if not more, I mean. Being able to set the see, uh, what is it, the regular season record for the most wins in Pembroke history, that's big. So I could say it's a big accomplishment for me and the team. Yeah, Chris. Yeah, and um, I mean, what does it say about this program that this is the third straight senior night, um, excluding the opt out year, this is the third straight senior night that you guys have cut nets down. Um, so, I mean, you're kind of making a habit of that. That's not something that every program can say, obviously. And we try to ignore that opt out year, but um, <laughs> but no, I mean it, it is special because you know, I, and I said like I said in the locker room, and a year ago oh, from today, a lot of those guys in that locker room were strangers, and to lose what we did last year, not only did we lose what we did, and then to have guys like Brad, guys like Nigel, guys like Vontae, Tez, Jakari, um, you know, those returners come back, and then to add in a crop of newcomers that have you know, bought into what we're asking them to do. And a lot of their roles have changed from where they were previously. Um, but to have all that become cohesive um, in this time is, is miraculous. And uh, like I said, I mean, last year's group was special. We knew what we were going to get with those seniors. Um, going into this year, you know, I think there were a lot of doubters on what we could do this year. And I think um, we proved them wrong. And we'd like to continue to do that. Um, I hope these guys aren't satisfied because uh, we still got a lot of basketball to play for this team, I hope. Yes, sir. Yeah, and those last two times, it did not end in a tournament title. So um, yeah, how motivated are you guys to kind of become the double champs, if you will, this time around? I mean, I think – I think we're motivated. Uh, I think those past years are motivated, but you know you can almost get complacent at times, especially with such a long break we have ahead of us, and we have twelve games for our first ga first game, uh, twelve days before our first game, in the conference tournament. That's a long time um, at this point in the year. But you know I think the motivation lies in, in trying to do stuff that's never been done before, and that would be you know finishing the top of the region uh, in that last poll. And you can't do that without succeeding in the conference tournament. So I hope that extra little bit of motivation, and maybe we didn't have the year before and the year before, I'm hoping that would give us some, some additional focus and determination to, to continue to get better every single day. Any players want to add on that? You can repeat your question one more time. 
But um, being motivated to uh, win the tournament as well and, and back this regular season title up, like hasn't been done the last couple of times. We're very motivated. I mean, we don't want to lose no more. And, you know, we got a tournament coming up. We want to be the winners. So. This is my first ring, so I just want to keep adding to that. So whatever that has to do. And um, how important was it, beyond the conference implications, how important was it after the loss on Saturday just to come out here and play you guys' game and, and play Pember basketball again? I mean, I was more – from a, obviously, you want to be able to bounce back from a tough loss like that, but I think I was more motivated to make sure we send these seniors on a, on a great senior night. You know, senior night's a special night because we don't know if we're ever going to play in Jones again. That was a great crowd tonight. They were loud. They were into it for the most part. Um, so that was, as far as, as from the coaching perspective, that was my biggest motivation. I mean, Quan and KJ haven't been here long, but they've had a huge impact in this in this season, and we wouldn't be in the spot we'd be in without these guys. So that that responding to a loss and then also sending these guys out on a high note as far as, you know, their senior night. And Quan and KJ, both of you guys um, got off the early, big early starts and helped you guys with that run early in the game. So um, take me through kind of that early game stretch and what you guys are feeling there. Uh, when the game started, uh, Coach Hendren drew up a play for me to get a shot early. So, you know, when I came off the screen, I just knew I was going to put it up and then kind of got them early game jitters out. So then I was ready to go. So I just felt like the best part of my game is being aggressive. So I just kept going. Um, well, we knew it was, you know, we had to win to cut the nets down. So we came out ready to go, high energy, playing good defense, rebounding, and Executing on offense. We really wanted this win. Anybody else? Um, hello, I'm Nicole. Uh, Hi, Nicole. Uh, the Pine New York. Uh, Coach Drew, what's one thing you want to work on as a team before going into the conference tournament? You know, it's hard to pinpoint one thing. I think we can get better in all phases. It's really about not losing our edge defensively and rebounding one. And then two, just continuing to get better offensive execution. I think that has been kind of our thorn in our side is being able to continue not only to execute in the initial primary offense, but to be able to follow through and get to the last actions of what we're trying to do, because typically when we do, we're, we're pretty good. So that those two things, like you can't lose your edge on defensive rebound and then just trying to get better, taking care of the basketball and executing your offense. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. So for the players, I mean, y'all came into this program, I already established itself as a, a perennial power. What was it like to come in now for, for you, Bradley, twice and for you guys? seniors to now keep that level there? Uh, <clears throat> I kind of felt like those guys last year set the table, st set the stakes a little high. So, I mean, we just know we had big shoes to fill and we just grounded off season and came in ready to work. Yeah, for you, the seniors, I mean, y'all were recruited into this. Uh, what was it like yeah. now to see this, the end of this journey for y'all um, cutting down nets? Um, it feels good. Um, we put in a lot of work and that's the reason this program wins. So. We just came in, did what Coach told us to do, and now we're here. Came here to win the championship, and that's you know what Coach Richards preaches from the beginning to the end. So it's just good to see it happen. Coach, you've been here through it all. Um, has there been some constants maybe that some some of these teams have won conference titles in the past, or is it sort of something that's transformed over the last couple of years, or just been all year? You know, luckily, Brave the 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 Braves basketball. Um, program was established before I even got here, you know, and, and, and being able to continue on the tradition of, of what was established. And, and, you know, I think Braves basketball is always going to be known for, for rebounding, obviously, and defense, things like that, and just trying to continue and, and make it better as much as possible. Not really, goal is not really screwed up is the whole thing. And I think, uh, I think we've been able to accomplish that, and I'd like to continue to make it, when we, as a group, we'd like to continue to try to do things that haven't been done before. And I think the base blocks that were built before I got out here and when I was an assistant and even the year I was gone, I think those have all contributed to the success we're having now. So our goal is not only just not to fumble it, but to continue to build on that. Um, so each team, so next year's team can look back and say, God, KJ and Quan came in here in a year and won a championship. Like we gotta, we gotta be able to hold ourselves to that level of accountability and responsibility to continue the traditions. You know, luckily Brad's a young buck, so he'll be able to sit there and tell those guys like, you, you need to be ready to go because this is what we do here, and we don't feel like being the team that 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 stops it. Sweet, one more. Um, and how much the game tonight specifically? I mean, 
rebounding, defense, shared the ball. How much kind of an apropos way to clinch with a clinic video of you know what Pembroke basketball is? Big word. Are you gonna answer that one? Uh, no, I think I think it's I think it's great to have be able to have all cylinders firing. You know, like we've talked about a bunch of times, there's three things we go into every single game wanting to accomplish, and when we do it, we're, we're pretty good, and we're able to accomplish all three tonight. And I think hopefully this shows these guys here and the guys in the locker room that when we walk in with that level of focus, that intensity, that camaraderie, and that buy-in to what we need to do to succeed, I mean, you can be one of the top tens and top teams in the country. I, I, I sin sincerely believe that. Now, if we don't walk in with focus, we can see what's happened there as well. So hopefully it just shows them, hey, if you, if you buy into what we're trying to do and, and, and do it as, as, as tough as you can at a high level of energy as you can, usually good things are going to happen. Cool. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.